Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing today on AP Calculus AB 2010 for your response questions. And so we've moved on to the non calculator portion, so let's take a look at this. There are 700 people in line for a popular amusement park ride when the ride begins operation in the morning. Once it begins operation, the ride accepts passengers until the park closes eight hours later. When there is a line, people move onto the ride at a rate of 800 people an hour. Uh, the graph of the line shows the rate at which people arrive in throughout the day. Time is measured in hours and the time ride begins operation. How many people arrive on the ride between 0 and 3? Another rate question. Interesting. I'll give you another rate question on the non-calculator portion. How many people arrive at the ride between 0 and 3? It would be the area under this. Okay. So what's your favorite way to do the area? I kind of see two trapezoids here. this trapezoid and this trapezoid. So for A, I'm going to do one half the width. This width is two. The heights are 1,000 and 1,200 plus one half. This width is one. And the heights, oops, I'm running off the page here plus one half times one, 1,200 and 800. Okay, just doing area under the curve, but I'm just doing it graphically. And I can do this by hand now, because so this is, these cancel, so this is uh, 2,200 plus, two th plus 1,000, so that equals 3,200 people. Is the number of people waiting in line to get on the ride increasing or decreasing between two and three? Justify your answer. Answer. Um, let's take a look. So people are still arriving, but less and less people. I mean, they're, they're arriving at a slower rate. But the thing is, is the ride only accepts people 800 people an hour. So it's longer because, like, even though the rate's going down, it's still more than 800 per hour, right? 800 people, 800. It's it, people are getting onto the ride at a rate of 800 people per hour, but people are showing up above 800 people an hour, right? higher, like a thousand, like this whole time period. Um, so like this whole time period, it's above 800, so it's getting longer, it's increasing. Um, R of T is greater than 800 over t between 0 and 3. Okay. At what time t is the line for the ride the longest? How many people in line are at that time? Uh, right when it, it hits 800 is when it would be the longest. Okay, so you could, you could think of it as the equation as like how many people are in line at a given time is the integral of 0 to t, and assume no people, are, how many people are entering the line, minus 800 dt, okay? And then this, this is sort of how many people are in line. So to find the maximum, it's when p prime of t is equal to 0. By fundamental theorem of calculus, p prime, the derivative of this integral, is just this inside. But more intuitively, you can kind of just say, well, like once I'm down here, like the line's getting shorter because the ride is sending people through faster than they're arriving. So the line must be getting shorter. So the lo it's longest right at this point. Okay, and that occurs at t, that occurs when r of t equals 800 or t equals uh, 3. Oh, this is between 2 and 3, by the way. At what time t is the ride the longest? How many people are in the line? Okay. So um, let's see. We, oh, okay. So at 3, you see, we, we found this. We found that 32 people, 102 people had shown up. During this whole time, um, over 3 hours, it was operating for 800, so 2,400 people. So it would be 3,200 people arrived. How many people were over the three hours, three times 800, like 300 people um, got onto the ride, 
This is 2,400, 3,200 minus 2,400 is 800 people. Okay. And then, write but do not solve an equation involving integral expression of R whose solution gives the earliest time t at which there is no longer a line for the ride. It's when the number of people is zero. So my, it was my integral of zero to t of, uh, what did I say, r of t minus 800. Whoa, did it just like turn black for some reason? Why did my color, my pen turn black? On this one, right? Maybe, I, maybe it's getting too bright in here. Um, equals zero. Yep. Oh, whoops. Um, let's be precise on notation. DT equals zero. So that's the last part. Okay, let's take a look at how we did. Thirty-two hundred people increasing. Um, more people are entering. That's good. It equals three. Oh, so there's, I forgot the seven hundred who started. So I needed. It. I forgot. So here, let's. Let's make it red here. You know, I got this wrong. I forgot to add eight seven hundred. I didn't read that in the problem. It started with seven hundred people, so that part was wrong. And so that's why I got that. <laughs> that's why. That's why I messed up the plus seven hundred here, because then you needed plus seven hundred here. Okay. So I should have been a little more careful if there was anyone starting in the line. So hope you guys found that helpful. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.